Good afternoon, guys and gals. My name's Keith, and I'm the creator and host of Carolina Mountain Lights. And for the past few weeks, I've been working on a project that I finally got to the point that I'm able to release it and share it with you guys. And this is a 31-inch WS2811 compatible 3D printed snowflake. Yes, that's a mouthful. But as most of you know, the, you can't print a 31-inch object on the standard home 3D printer. So this is broken down into uh, two models. First model is the centerpiece, the hub. Now this hub is just under 11 inches wide. This model to accommodate six of the snowflake arms, which is a separate model. Now these are modeled to where it takes no glue and no screws to put it together. The arms slide right into the hub. Pixel goes into the hole. And pops right in. If you look closely inside, you'll see there's a little rim inside that the uh, slot in the mounting sleeve of the pixel slides right into, just like the Pascoio strips. And these pixels actually hold the two pieces together. And when you get all six arms installed into the hub, it looks something like this. This gives you an idea of just how big this snowflake is. A couple things you should be aware of on this. Number one, if you decide to print these, you should use minimum of 20% infill on both pieces. I print mine with 30% infill, and they are very strong, very durable. Also on the snowflake arm, you're going to see right here, there's a little tab that I've added to it. If you do 3D printing, you know that in some places you have to use uh, support. And I found that on my printer, this little area here, a lot of times the support did not adhere very well to my print bed. So I added this tab to the model. So whenever you print it, this tab is only a 64th of an inch thick. So it breaks off very easy right along with the support material. Now I guess this is a good time to mention that this, these two models require a minimum of a 300 by 300 millimeter print bed. I know a lot of you have smaller print beds than that, and I'm sorry for that. I modeled this for my printer. I have the ANET E12, and they fit just perfectly on the bed of that. So, but if you want to, you can bring the models in and redo them a little bit to fit your printer. That's up to you. You have my permission to do that. Now, as for the pixel layout of the snowflake, I did a model of the pixel layout in an Excel spreadsheet and I brought it into X lights and created an X model. There is a specific way to lay out these pixels where they will accommodate anything down to a three inch spacing pixel. I wanted to design this where the standard off the shelf pixels could be placed into this snowflake in one string without any cutting or soldering. Now this is what the snowflake looks like with all the pixels in. Now when you open the zip folder that I have put out there on the 3D printing for Christmas Light Enthusiast group, you will find these two models in STL format You'll also find the spreadsheet that I did, 
I put that out there in case anybody wanted to take and do their own numbering format on it. And I also exported and saved an X model that I created in that folder. So this is pretty much set up to where you can uh, import those models into your X lights. You can 3D print this and put it together. Everything's ready to go for you. So it's nice and simple. There is another file in the zip folder that uh, gives some notes on this project and also a legal disclaimer. This is an assumed copyright by me. You do have permission by me to use this model for your own purpose, to change it and modify it as you see fit but you do not have the permission to use it for commercial use or for profit. That being said, I hope you guys get some use out of this and enjoy it. Thanks for watching.